Hello there, here and today we're going to play Deadly Desires. Love Starf. Oh, nice intro. Dun, 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 dun. This feels very intrusive. Amazing. <laughs> like it's just getting shoved into your face real hard. Just our eyes. Ooh, tentacles, slimy. Ooh. Extras, credit. Extras? That is excellent. Memories. Don't like the music player, it's any outcome or the end of the demo. Okay. Cool. Wait, how do you reach any the end of any outcome without reaching the end of the demo? And I'm stuck in the purgatory. Woohoo! Best game. Oh, there we go. It it it's now working. Credits. Oh, oh. Was carried for Adam and Joseph GM 2024, Melancholy Marionette, Lazy Polar Bear, Luke and Nathan, Down Glyph, Raymond Carmelo, Ski Garland, Chris Martinez, Emily Brunner, Dominic Devlin, Asterix VTuber, Max Lefrets, Megan Emery, Vanessa Benoit. For more, for more detailed credits, please see, see the game's page or text documents. This is a little bit confusing credits, but uh, yeah, especially the other part. That, that, that's kind of confusing. I thought like Kalista was voiced by like three people or something. Interesting. So it just has a long transition. I guess it's because of my machine, which is a shame. But I understand. Let's see. Display. Yum. Well, good. Good. A lot of me. <laughs> I love that. I don't understand anything, so let's just start playing the game, shall we? Spooky eyes. Loading. Am I recording? I'm recording, I think. During your participation in Project Salvation, you may encounter some major themes depending on your choices. Please be aware of the following warning triggers. <laughs> I'm sorry, the way the warning pre gets presented is so funny. So, bad language. It, it, it feels like introducing like a main list of character. Blood and injury. Bright lights. Disturbing behavior. Disturbing behavior. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. Like, that seems great, but like, disturbing behavior. What kind of disturbing behavior? Like, you know, like, uh, a farting in public places could be a disturbing behavior, you know? <laughs> I mean, it could be not. It could be. Who knows? Death. Cool. Dubious consent. Oh, oh, okay, I see. I see, I see. Flashing, shaking image. Minor gore. Sounds suggestive, but visually... <laughs> That's... That's too long of a that's too long. <laughs> it's just funny. For a more detailed list of warning triggers, with spoilers, please see the drop down on the project page. This version of the project features moving backgrounds at certain points. Some system may encounter issues playing video backgrounds. Yeah yeah, yeah. So why? Why was it implemented then? <laughs> If the video backgrounds do not load or are buggy, please download the non-video version. Which one do I download? Is this the video version for the best possible experience? Please play with headphones and keep all sounds on. Especially voice acting. Stay safe and have fun. Th thank you. I really appreciate it. <gasps> voice acting! Oh, what's this? Oh, bye. <laughs> Hello, operator. Immediately turns off the message. Ah, uh -uh, this is an interesting UI. Before we connect you to your assigned administrator, please select the voice you would prefer them to use when conversing with you. Uh. Greetings, operator. Ooh. Please confirm voice selection. Greetings, operator. Ooh. Please confirm voice selection. This one. Greetings, operator. Selection confirmed. Establishing connection. People. It Greetings, honored operator, <laughs> and welcome to Project Salvation. I am Administrator Epsilon. 
This is so good. Like the whole presentation is nice, I guess. As you are but like to the system, before you assume control of the soul selected to receive guidance, allow me a moment to explain how all of this works. But the trigger warning and the main menu is just kind of funny to see. <laughs> the soul you will be steering momentarily is named Lonely Yadetsi. You are permitted to change the given name if you so choose, and you are also allowed to insert yourself inside the entity if you feel it will aid your acclimation to its spirit. Okay, so what? Either way, your aim is to monitor the soul's progress and gently guide it onwards towards the next most suitable plane of existence by whatever means you deem necessary. Uh, what do you mean by the next suitable plane of existence? And what do you mean by any means you deem necessary? For now, the soul in question will continue to exist in perpetuity within the confines of Limbo to enable you both to explore all available options. Though, of course, its ultimate destination uh -huh. will not be defined without an administrator's order. There may be moments in your shared journey where you feel the soul fighting to be in full authority of its actions. When these instances occur, the option to relinquish control will be presented to you. Oh, spicy! Spicy, spicy! So we are controlling a bunch of people. I, I love controlling people. It's it's so fun to do that. Hmm, wait. Yeah, my model seems fine. I thought like I see a janky movement, but uh, it's fine. You know, uh, should I change my model? I don't know if this one is perfect for this occasion. And I guess this one is the best I have for this type of theme. Maybe? I don't know. We, we, we'll just see. Oh, I wish I had more model, obviously. To allow it to act independently of your council, simply select its heart. However, we politely remind you that the soul has been selected for supervision specifically because it is struggling to attain enlightenment alone. Please use discretion when permitting autonomy. Okay, cool. I do not understand anything of that, so yeah. I will also warn you that while we appreciate your enthusiasm in volunteering for this most esteemed role, should the administrators deem your performance disappointing, we will not hesitate to replace you with a more capable operator. That's very rude. Wow, okay, I see how it is. When a conclusion is reached, I will ask you an all-important question. Your responses will be recorded for training purposes, so it's essential that you answer honestly. Okay, cool. cool. Now that you understand your position here, I shall proceed with the following survey to get you settled in. Firstly, do you wish to keep the name Lonely for the soul, or replace it with an alternative? Uh, keep the name new name the name Lonely. While you are inhabiting the soul, which pronouns would you like it to be referred to by? Ooh, interesting. She heard it him. She heard it him. She heard it him. I don't know. You're asking someone who doesn't have any personal pronouns preference. Spin the wheel! It's time for wheel spinning. Yes, you wouldn't say it, but I'm gonna spill a win. Sp wheel spin. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll just see, okay? Doo -doo. Well, we have a winner. Uh, we are going with she, her this time. So I wonder where there's no other pronouns. Very well. And finally, do you wish to insert yourself within the soul or remain a detached observer? Uh. Wow, okay. This What does this mean? How hard does this change the decision of the game? This one is very confusing and should ha and should deserve more explanation. De detach self, detach self. Det det wh what does it mean? How does the experience difference? Can I save? S self insert. Inserting- oh, okay, thank you. Resolve in the soul will mean nourishing the dictates Lonnie as you, for example. Alone in your apartment, you say for the thug of the week ahead of you. Do you wish to proceed with the soul of narration? Ah, I see. How about the touch? Huh. No, okay. 
It's not that important, apparently. I mean, I guess it, it's important philosophically. <laughs> you know? Because on one hand, you feel that you as yourself, maybe a part of yourself. On the other, you feel like you are controlling someone's destiny, toying with it, maybe. Because you fail to give them a good, happy ending. You know? Like a cruel god. Or something. Or maybe you will be a happy god if you manage to make them happy. But I hope you will. Will ya? Uh, okay, so which one are we picking? Southern Sword, let's go. Wonderful. Before we part ways, I must warn you that while steering your soul, you may hear it speak using a voice that is not your own. Especially when delegating control to it. Uh -huh. Understandably, this can cause some operators a degree of distress. If it alarms or displeases you in any way, note that you may mute your soul at any time by accessing your user controls. Let's go. Can we also block our soul? Or like report them? You know? I shall now proceed to get you caught up with our world while you synchronize with the soul. We will reconvene and review your progress once you reach the end of a thread. Goodbye. And good luck, operator. Good luck! Wait, no, I wasn't supposed to say good luck to you. Goodbye! Please pay attention to the following presentation. It's no. It's exclusively for you and contains the sentiment of your soul. When properly absorbed, it should aid you in immersing yourself within its worldview and situation. Ooh, spicy. Upon reaching the presentation's conclusion, you will find yourself submerged within your soul's experience. Please, do not be alarmed. <laughs> Alarm. Once you successfully uncover the outcome of each path, the system will sever your connection and swiftly return you to this room for review. Ah, oh, that's very epic. Your well-being is of the utmost priority. And so your vitals will be monitored continuously throughout your exploration to ensure your safety. Uh huh. Wait, how many ending is there in the demo? I know, like the demo is like three hours. Like uh, they're they're saying like, oh, the demo is only two hours long at most. But no, I uh, I, I I played a lot of official novel in this style. And what can I tell for what what I can tell you from that is this. Is almost three hours, maybe, or even three hours from the length of stuff that we probably need to read and pass through. At least that's my estimation from what they are giving to me. Uh, how many endings are there? Let's see. In the demo, there is verse choices and seven different endings. Interesting. Seventeen k words. Roughly two hours. No, that's not roughly two hours. That's roughly three hours. I think, at least. You know what? Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's fine. Let's just continue this, shall we? Please confirm your participation so that we may proceed with our work. Okay. There's no, there's no rejection. Commencing Project Salvation. Let's go. Subject, Lonnie. Active. Soul Synchronization. Active. Ooh, are we going to do the zoom thing? Acclamation initiating in three. Yeah, like two, the zoom zoom in, one. like zoom. Yeah, see zoom transition. Work in limbo is a thankless, a, it's a thankless task. One that slowly sucks the life out of you, if you can even consider yourself alive at all in such a place. It was designed that way to make things less complicated for the denizens who dwell there, cause somewhere between worlds. Upon arrival in this godforsaken place, an administrator swiftly assigned you a sentence to serve and a role to earn your way out. Things could have been worse. You could have been sent to sanctuary support lines, stuck with seemingly endless streams of calls to answer. Oh no. But instead, you were designed designated cleaning crew, left to wander the many offices and others almost unnoticed. At first, you were filled with optimism, but as the day deleted in the murky months, depression began to creep in gradually eroding your relation of an entirely sane half life here. Rest day are the worst, work as dual as it may be, provide some purpose in a world where you're otherwise drifting aimlessly through incar incarceration. But on but one, 
not entirely legal, yet tentatively tolerated and organizations strive to be the antidote to apathy to breathe a life back into Limbo Lost Soul. <gasps> Is it a gaming group? Is it a Jose reading group? Is it a <laughs> Is it a is it a cross shooting group? Let's go. With a strict ban on romantic relationship. No, no, no. In the workplace, it was inevitable. Some entity will eventually rise from the darkest depth of desperation to prevent that which all of us crave. How? What? Okay. This is the setting. Interesting. Love. And like everything else, it comes with a price. When a colleague gave you the number for deadly desires, though, you initially struck it off. I'll be fine on my own. I don't need something so easy to get me through this however but yeah see but the longer your toilet stuck bored and alone the more appealing the idea of paying for companionship became there was no shame in using their service everyone in limbo does one way or another it was only a matter of time before you joined the masses in doing so yourself employees of deadly desires come in all shades of simulate <laughs> from the cute and playful ka ka Recrowding the role of husband. No, what? Their soft and fluffy prayer providing comfort to those barely wishing to curl up and watch a cozy movie. Did they intoxicating in Cuba with their endless stamina guarantee to satisfy even the most insatiable of clientele? Whatever your fantasy might be, deadly desires will find a way to fulfill it, even offering snuff surface for to those yearning for a premature exist or the ultimate fetishized departure. What? Okay. Premium funeral package included at an additional cost. Twink. That's a wink with a twink, you know. Not 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 the twink with uh, those thin twink. I mean, like the twinkling star. Unfortunately for you, today is the beginning of a week long break from your labor in limbo. Which means either banging your head against the wall or via your apartment as a means to expel the Inui or shilling out for another fake friend to keep you company. Banging your head, it is. In the end, there is no real choice. The reality is, you are already an addict like everyone else, clinging on the faint hope that one day, you might actually form a connection. But in a world where every soul seeks to conceal their secrets while awaiting judgment, true love seems elusive and distant revere out of reach and distorted by delusion. This really feels nice, I guess, in concept, but I hope like people, some people just don't misinterpret it, interpret this as like, you can just go to I, I like I, I, this might be a romance right this might be a romance story but like I just hope like people don't misinterpret it as like oh hey I can, maybe yeah I can try to go to an a sex worker and just ask them to hey well and just hope that you will get a real date with them you know what I'm saying <laughs> uh, but yeah that's gonna Spin, spin. The spinning makes me anxious because it just keeps freezing, and I feel like my it keeps making me think that my computer freezes or something, which is like terrifying. That is quite long. I don't know how I got to a score song that's kinda weird. Okay. Oh, pink. Alone in your, in your apartment, you say that the thug of the week ahead of you and how expensive it's likely to be. You could spend it entirely alone, but that would be so boring you can scarcely, scarcely consider it. And so you choose to flick on your radio for company, shuffling to the kitchen where you brew your usual beverage of choice. Ooh, we can hide the dark box, that's cool. Let's go look at that. Oh, hello. Am I supposed to click? That was SSL's own Tava Tauride with Spellbound. And I'm your host with the most, Nico Jabari. With <gasps> Nico Jabari! Wow! For all you eager Arcadians out there this evening. Nico Jabari! I love you! Strap in, folks, because you're in for a bumpy ride. 
Oh, and to the anonymous gentleman caller who complained about our broadcast last night, we don't only cover the grim and the gory. In fact, just uh -huh. an hour ago, Nico received a steaming fresh scoop that we think you'll be very interested to hear. And? And that is about? Your wife was spotted ordering an escort to your ah. place <laughs> while you were at work. <laughs> my wife! No! I'm sorry to say it, my friend, but your neighbors complained no less than ten times about the noise. So, uh, <laughs> maybe check your priorities before you start complaining about what Nico's up to, hmm? Nico, why? Alrighty. Now that we've covered the fluff for the night, let's get on with the serious part of the show, shall we? What serious part? That wasn't serious? It was so serious. Hmm. Bad omens continue for Deadly Desires as another three performers are reported missing since the end of last week. This came right after the alarming update earlier in the year that one absent client of the company was found abandoned in an alley minus her heart. While another was uh, located wandering the streets, seemingly soulless. Well, that, 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 that's horrible. That's, that's kind of bad. <laughs> that's possibly could be... Uh... Something, you know? So soulless? Huh, I wonder why. <laughs> Patrons of Deadly Desires have voiced their concerns to the administrators regarding their safety in engaging with the service. In an interview with us yesterday, Wait, is this a like client who wishes to remain anonymous expressed their fears that these attacks are targeted at both Deadly Desires employees and clients, rather than random acts of violence, as was previously assumed. Uh, yeah, that's a good concern, but is this a Deadly Desires only radio, like, or is it like an official radio in the town and Deadly Desires just get a pass for it? A number of residents taking an interest in the incidents have begun to theorize that the disappearances and assaults may be linked. Uh-huh. Potentially even the work of an organized group aiming to destroy the Deadly Desires brand. Oh no. In a statement from the administrators, it was made clear that no investigation is currently underway and service users should engage with the company at their own discretion. They advise that all clients continue to undertake the usual precautions when booking performers and remind the citizens of Arcadia as well as wider limbo that Deadly Desires is not an officially sanctioned business. Uh-huh. In other news, Pookie's Pizza has been forced to close <gasps> Pookie's its Pizza, no! after receiving an order from food standards inspectors who raided the establishment a one, meaning immediate improvement this is so in sad. several areas is necessary before trade is allowed to resume. Oh, I will miss Pookie Pizza. I used to go there to Pookie claimed that the raid <laughs> Pookie claimed and proved that inspectors were on a witch hunt. Mm-hmm. Pookie assured us that the necessary Pookie, no. movements will be made swiftly, and Pookie's Pizza will be open for business, as usual, within the next week or so. <gasps> Let's go! Time now for a weather update with the wonderful Amaya. Amaya, what can we expect? Rain and storm. Well, Nico, the problems plaguing the weather system Love in all. the Arcadia sector still seem to be in play. And with no quick fixes in sight, citizens can expect showers of varying intensity over the course of the coming week. No, we have to take showers. That's so sad. It shouldn't be a problem for those of you staying indoors, but if you're heading out, you might want to take an umbrella, as the rain shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. Other sad. than that, it should be a relatively pleasant week temperature-wise, if a little humid thanks to the ongoing rain. Uh huh. <sighs> well, that's a bummer. You would think maintenance would have worked their magic by now. I'm sure all the vamps out there will be thrilled to hear it, but no doubt the rest of us wouldn't mind a bit of sunshine. <gasps> Yay, fam time! Right, let's get back to the music, shall we? Up next, we got the fabulous Scarlet Saints with their new hit number. And it is. Corn Panic. Enjoy. Enjoying! No! Okay, you fucking you, fuck you, Loni. That's quite enough of that. Mm. Saving once again, you click out the radio off, reaching for your phone as you trudge back to your living room. Would you call this a living room? Maybe it is a living room. 
Welcome to Deadly Desires, where we aim to fulfill any and all I'm, fantasies. I'm having psychic damage. Back. I'm having psychic damage from the way it was spoken in the song. Please listen to the following options before making a selection. I love how the UI is integrated all the time, by the way, that's so cool. A specific talent. One. 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 God damn it. If it doesn't do anything. Hire a surprise two. Escort. Press two. Uh, this is actually interesting. <laughs> surprise Escort. If you're interested escort. in our special celebrations package, hit three. <gasps> special celebration package. If you require a funeral package with your experience, please press four and rest in peace. Rip Bowser. If you're calling to complain about our services, press five and be prepared to leave a convincing message. Okay, here's a tip to get you like uh, to leave a convincing message. Always place an O and a pleading face at the end of your message. Uh, actually, no, 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 no allowed in this place. Just pleading face, okay? For any questions or queries, please hold and an operator will be with you momentarily. Wait, what does 5 do? Oh, yeah, complain. F 5? Here at Deadly Desires, we aim for perfection. If you're not entirely satisfied with your experience back? here at Deadly Desires, if you're not ah, if there's even a if you're not entirely back sign. satisfied That's cool. with an experience you had with us, please do describe the problem you encountered, and a customer service representative will be in touch with you. I should probably save back then, but uh -oh. if we agree that your experience did not meet our exceptional standards, a new experience will be arranged for you. I mean, no one actually has the balls to complain. Anyways, this is an option for bookings. Okay, safe, 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 safe. There's no safe options. Four. You're through to the funeral bookings department. Before an agent is assigned to take your details, please keep in mind that you may only arrange a funeral uh -huh. one of our packages if you're booking the experience for yourself. Oh man, I cannot book the experience for any other person. In order to arrange a funeral, you must be able to provide us with confirmation that your chosen experience includes a will, and that your playmate is authorized to perform executions within their contract. Uh huh. Cremation comes as standard with the package. Caskets cost extra. Boo. If you're happy to proceed with these terms, please enter your booking number, full name and address, and an agent will be with you shortly to help coordinate your experience. You can help us say that by such a service even exists. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're just bored and explore everything. Celebrate your special day with one of our packages tailored to your taste. Or for a cheaper, uh -huh. less entertaining experience. You could choose from the following packages. Oh, less entertaining. We're sorry. But all our special <gasps> services no. are currently sold out due to high demand. Should you wish to book for a specific time in the next millennia, please call back and ask to speak to one of our special representatives. What the hell is a special package anyway? What is two? Sorry, but all of our agents are currently busy. Really? We apologize for the inconvenience and request that you call back later, quoting all tied up. Why? If you do, you'll be able to claim a free all tied up, okay. Which can be added to any one of our experiences. Thank you for choosing deadly desires for all your darkest dreams. <laughs> you can help but grimace the automated answer. I'm not sure surprise is what I need right now anyways. I'll just request someone reliable instead. Oh, what is this? One. Greetings. 
Since you've selected option one, did you have a particular performer in mind? Yes, give me Bowser the Clown. <laughs> what is her name to do? Yes, um, I was hoping I might be able to book in with Ro Romeo again. Ah, Romeo, huh? Good choice. Thank you. Unfortunately, he's unavailable right now. Fuck you. That's a shame. Uh, indeed it is. I'm sure you're already well aware, but he's probably one of our most popular performers. God damn it. It was a sad day for us all when we heard he was indisposed. Indisposed? With any luck, he'll be back at work soon. But in the meantime, I'm afraid I'm not permitted to make any bookings with him. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm sorry, but there is honestly nothing I can do about it. If it makes you feel any better, I heard he was having some trouble down there. Trouble? Really? But he's an incubus. I thought they were always more than fine in that department. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't after him for that. I just wanted to hang out and watch a film or something. Uh, you know, incubus could have problem, you know? Aww, well, isn't that just adorable? Very so, adorable. I've heard some of the other agents mention folks like you, but I didn't think I'd ever meet one myself. Folks like you? What, what, what do you mean, folks like me? Hmm, 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 hmm. Folks like me? Mm hmm. The ones who call us for company. Don't I get me wrong, by the way. I think it's utterly charming. Thank you. Most of our clients are into the less. Innocent services we have on offer? Well, it is what it is, you know, like... Can... Um, I got what I want. <sighs> you can help but shake your head in irritation at the car... Car his... Car his ignorant assumptions. Oh, don't be shy, sweetie. Uh-huh. You know, you should at least try one of our more exotic packages someday. You might be pleasantly surprised. Ooh, scary. What is it? Please don't try to upsell me sex stuff. I'm really not interested in that kind of thing right now. Suit yourself, sugar. You know, sometimes it's nice to have a little salt to mix in with that sweetness. Mm-hmm. Still, I can't book you in with our dear Romeo, even if it's just to chill together. Do you, do you have any other is, pro people? Well, you know, as gravely affected his mental health. Trust me, he's a <laughs> Oh, Romeo, no! Maybe talking about it with someone he knows might help? Oh no, we have professionals for that, dear. I'm Ch sure yeah. it will all be resolved in no time. But for now, I'm afraid you're going to have to pick someone else. Do you want me to list everyone who's available at the moment? Who is the best on watching film? Who's a film buff? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about seeing other than Romeo right now, but don't get me wrong, I've never had a problem with anyone else I've heard before, but I've been hearing some, uh, like, you know, worrying rumors lately. <laughs> what rumors? What rumors, huh, I wonder. With me, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. We'll take real good care of you here, I promise. Mm. All our performers are fully trained and cleared to carry out contracted work. With utmost professionalism. Yippee! Can I attempt you to a surprise package instead? Maybe. I don't know about that. Well, oh, come on. It'll be fun. We've got all your details on file already, so our staff will be sure to pick someone suitable for you. Don't you fancy a bit of spice in your life? Uh. <laughs> I suppose it might things make things more interesting. Precisely. So, can I consider that a yes? Maybe. Go on then. Fabulous. Am Fabulous. You'd like them sent over ASAP? Yep, send them with the helicopter. ASAP. Or through the, I don't know, 30 days package mail. I hope they're fine there. Yeah, please, if you can. That shouldn't be a problem at all. If you just buzz your payment over as usual, 
I'll get a team on it as soon as the transaction's been confirmed, okay? Okay. Yep, sure, I'll get it sent out. Great. Can I help you with anything else today? Mmm, no. No, that was all I wanted. Cheers! Cool, cool. I'll love you and leave you for now. As always, your custom is much appreciated. Thanks for choosing Deadly Desires. Don't forget to have yourself a deadly day now. Dude, you need to say that. Uh, that's that's so that makes me cringe with the company stuff. With little to do but wait after hanging up, you stay patient and suffer for your surprise to arrive. Exhausted by the effort involved in making a booking, you close your eyes, sighting softly to yourself as you drift off to sleep. Me me me. Later that day. Ah. A sudden knock at the door penetrates your dreamless slumber as your body rockets upright with jolt. Ah. For a moment, you panic, hastily glancing at yourself, cursing for not having showered before the arrival of your mystery guest. Oh no. Inhaling deeply with anxious anticipation, you rush to the door to greet the stranger, along with the dreary results so frequent in your district. Uh. Hey! Hello! Hello. You ordered a surprise package, right? Well, surprise. Yippee! Stood before you as a being unlike you. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. And you have encountered before while using the surface. Something about a sun shine in his eyes, both excited and unsettles you. Who are you? Introduce yourself. Hello, I am. I uh, suppose. Can I say. I... You ordered a surprise uh, package, right? Well, surprise. Save time. There we go. Doop. Nice enough. Introduce myself. Right, um, yeah, that was me. I'm Lonnie. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. Lonnie, huh? Pretty. I'm afraid mine's a bit of a mouthful. So feel free to just call me Eris. If it pleases you. Hello, Eris. Eris is a pretty name, too. I don't think I've ever met anyone called that before. <sighs> it's short for Eris Siphon. A somewhat distasteful joke Eris on the parents part. Limos Erisython is my full name. Limos Erisython. I prefer Eris. It makes things much more simple. Do you prefer Eris or just E? Or yes? I don't know. I'm just offering a suggestion, you know, like something. So, are you planning to invite me in? Or would you rather we conduct our contract on your doorstep? I don't mind either way. But I find my scales disagree with the acidity of the rain. Good one, but we cannot watch TV and outside of the rain. My TV is also doesn't agree with the acidity of the rain. And also, whoop, my hand moving like a clock to the to you. Why are you need, needing to ask permission to enter or not? Hmm? Hmm? Are you a vampire? Mm -hmm. That's kind of stereotypical because there's a vampire in the world, so it just makes me look like a. Racist. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just enter. Invite Eris in. Ask Eris. <laughs> come, come in. Right, of course. Have read on me. Please come inside. Regarding Eris in the apartment, you step into one side, allowing him to pass. What do you mean we can just tell Eris to leave? When he shakes the rain from his scales, you find your sense aroused by his pleasant aroma, something almost sweet about it lingering in the air around him. Almonds, maybe? Perhaps mixed with cherries or similar bitter sweet bouquet. Can I get you a drink or anything? Yes, tentatively, and sure whether his kind ever comes to beverage in the way humans do. If you're making something. Well, there's booze on the floor, so. Is tea okay, or can I whip you up a coffee if you need to pick me up? Either is fine. I'll have whatever you're having. I'm having bacon soda. Do you want a bacon soda? You sure do you want a bacon soda, do you? Mm -hmm. Coffee it is, then. The sounds between you is awkward as you make a start and burying your you both a drink. Aristotle seems like he could use the caffeine or of all the deadly desire representative you've ever encountered. Aries has to be the less energetic. I don't know. They seems to be energetic enough to me. Just like... Mm. 
So, your scales. What about them? They are... scaly. They're so, like... They're so shiny! What is that sound? They're so shiny, it's almost like they're glowing. <laughs> I'm surprised you noticed. I use a special glitter to help them shimmer when I'm <gasps> seeing clients. No way, is that true? People That's cool. don't care for it though. I'm not even sure why I bother. Well, I think they made you look stunning. Huh. Perhaps it's merely your eyes playing trick on you, but for a moment you could swear every skill shine a little brighter. It does! It does! You can see that! Look at that! I know you know what I am. I could see it in your eyes the moment you opened the door. So why don't you just go ahead and ask what you really want to ask, hmm? Well, what do you mean? Like, it, it, it just feels like that. Mean I know what you are, that dog thing. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't want to seem rude. It, it's all. It's not every day you encounter a scythes. See this? If that's what you are, of course. I mean, no fancy if you belong to a different species. I will never dream of insulting you by referring to you as something you're not, because I know you must be able to be a subhuman. Allow me to stop you there before you dig yourself an even deeper hole. No, 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 let me. Correct the first time. I am indeed one of the Sithis, and I'm well aware of the things people say about us. No, 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 it's fine. I, I will dig myself a deeper hole so I can be cancelled somewhere on social media. Uh -huh. Right. Huh. What I am curious to know is how you recognize one of us. If you're inclined to indulge me. Uh huh. I'm sure, the stories made us all seem like monsters. But you let me inside regardless. I know Niart? I've heard from. Who's Niart? I don't know Niart. Okay. Niart? Uh, I'm not sure how familiar you might be with the other cities in different sectors, but there's someone who oversaw the sanctuary support line office named Niart. They sometimes ambush me when I'm <laughs> ambush you when you're working. <laughs> uh, yes, I know of Niart. Niart. I haven't met personally, Nyard. but if there's any truth to the gossip, they hardly seem like a shining example of our species. In fact, I apologize for any inconvenience they may have caused you. Sithis should never be so pathetic. Ugh, indeed. Nyart is so pathetic. I'm not sure that I go as far as calling poor Nyart pathetic. This word, maybe? <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? What kind of sorry excuse for a creature wanders around pestering people for compliments? It's disgusting. True Sithis don't beg. We take. Hey, you know what they say? Everyone has a flaw, and... We just need to accept that, and you know, uh, love people even for the flaws they have, and still loving about what's flawed about them, you know. Right, but if an iron needs praise or whatever to survive, it's not like they can force someone to cough up a compliment on demand. You can forcibly extract anything from anyone if you're skilled enough, or if you have a knife, knife, you know, like, huh. But then you're going in your eyes and aside you shiver down your spine and so you wonder why you're ever even having this conversation. Anyway, I think students were not allowed to work at their desires. Conflict of interest and all that. Conflict of interest? Huh. I don't care to explain exactly what you mean by that. Uh-huh. But well, well students need something from others in order to survive, right? So how can an employer like DD trust them to put the client's needs before their own? I'm impressed you'd even know that. You're oh, it is something? Right, but they made a special exception. Just for me. Just for you. So it's to see this thing, I don't know exactly how that works. How come, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> You're quite the nosy little human, aren't you? It's simple. I'm just that good. <laughs> I love the pink ribbon. And you heard respond to such a statement, you shuffle awkwardly towards him with a mugs of coffee in hand, carefully placing them on the table before gesturing for a restooped seat. Okay. Speaking of which, did you have anything in particular in mind for how we should spend our time together? 
you got me booked for the rest of the day. So, I'm all yours. Okay, let's watch My Little Pony Season 1 to 9. And then all the spins, spin off. I mean Gen 4. And then we watch uh, Gen 5. And then we also watch all the movies. Oh, and a quiz to your girls. And don't ask me how I know that much, okay? Actually, I was wondering if you might have any ideas. Oh, I have plenty. But I fear they may be somewhat too adventurous for your tastes. Oh, man. <laughs> Try me, you're probably right. Uh, no. Tr try me? Oh, yeah, try me. I'm not as innocent as you might think. What? What? what why? Hmm. But your dossier said you've never hired a single performer for any sort of act of perversion in all of the time that you've been a loyal customer. You don't e yeah. have to prove anything to me. You know, I'm not here to judge you. That's true. I know, but still I want to know what you have in mind. Huh. Very well. When I look at you, I see tension in every part of your body, dragging you down, dulling your senses, and drowning out your desires. I would aim to liberate you from those shackles and have you floating freely, enveloped in ecstasy. Uh, how? Huh. How? And how would you see something like that? Hmm? Well, since you're human, it'd be all too easy. Oh, well, okay. Such. How come? You have so many ways I can slide inside you. So many holes to fill. And juicy little spots to tease and torture. You know what? I'm regarding this conversation. I'm having psychic damage. <laughs> Almost checking on your scream, you drop your gaze to the ground. <laughs> Emma! Tell me, Lonnie, have you ever wondered what it's like to have dozens of appendages stuffed inside you? Hey, let's go back to watching your movies. Thriving, Shall we? All vying to deliver you to a state of euphoria. I can say the thug has ever crossed my mind. Uh, no. Well, would you like to find out? Right now? No thanks! No thanks, don't tease me. Don't, don't tease me? Please don't tease me, Eris is mean. Who says I'm teasing you? Hmm? You paid for me to be here. It was a perfectly honest question. I already told you. I'm all yours. You're free to do with me as you please. Within reasonable limits of our contract, of course. I, really? I mean, I do pick that option, so... What, why am I asking? Then yes, I do want to know what it feels like. Are you certain? No! Do, you'll never find satisfaction with another again. I've changed my mind. Actually, I've changed my mind. I appreciate the offer and everything, but it's not the sort of thing I'm looking for right now. Oh. <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure what came over me. Just pushing around a little. Me. I'm I'm here. Lust, little human. It afflicts us all. One way or another. But it's nothing to be ashamed of. Knowing when to stop is what separates us from all the other animals out there. Rather than lust, it's much more of like... You know how those Korea City Kills the Cat thing? More like that. I just want to... See how far I can push the boundaries, you know. And that seems interesting to me. You think? Mm, it's a slippery slope. Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with succumbing to desire, as long as you don't lose yourself to it. That is. Control is such an admirable state. That is you so true. Be proud of yourself. That is so true. Thank you. I really appreciate your uh, compliment. As you heard respond to such a strange statement, you simply smile at Aries in acknowledgement of the presumed compliment on your character. We should probably drink our coffee. I wouldn't want it to go to waste after you went through all the trouble of making it. Yippee! <sighs> ah, 
Speaking of drinks, the pair of you sight simultaneously before catching each other's eyes, a slight smile of recognition forming on both of your faces. Like earlier, the sense between you is a welcome one, lingering comfortably in the air, accompanied by the calming aroma of the coffee you share. How is it? I can always make you something else if, you, if it's not your taste. I get plenty of herbal teas and stuff in the cupboard. Thank you. That won't be necessary. This is perfect. Just Yippee! like you. Stop, stop trying to raise me. Mm. Hey, taken aback by the brightness of her statement, you feel your cheeks flush a little before you begin to wonder if it was nothing more than empty flattery. You did pay for his company after all. It sounds like coffee. Uh, retarded coffee, but sure, sure. I'm glad you like it. You know, you're not half bad yourself, Aries. Stop. You're making me blush. Uh huh. As if. I'm sure all your clients probably shower you with plenty of praise. You must be sick of hearing it by now. <laughs> if only that were the case. The more common scenario I tend to encounter involves being told to shut up, suck this, or fondle that. Yeah, that's also part of like, I guess it's part of like uh, the horrible part. I mean, of being a escort sex worker, people just degrade you so much. Like, hello, we are also living human being. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? That's awful. Believe me, being offered a coffee is a rare courtesy in yep. my line of work. If I'm lucky, I might just about manage to squeeze in a snack on the job. Half the time, I go hungry. Oh, Whoa. Why would you use that transition? As the evening swiftly shifts into the night, several months of later. <laughs> Why? You felt come enough to ask Iris about his work. Have you worked with deadly desires for long? I've dipped in and out of their employment for a while, so it's difficult to say, but I've seen my fair share of clients. It's nice enough to curate an entire catalog of horrors. <laughs> I'm not about to burden you with that. No, you shouldn't. As if this is just not to press him on a matter, he irresistibly avoids your beating eyes and such choosing to immerse himself in the coffee. Swilling it in his mouth before a smile returned to his lips. It really is quite delicious. Oh, thank you. I don't want any make a risk and comfortable but concern for his well-being. You smile by drinking a glass of your coffee while trying to come up with a sensitive way to prop you on the subject of his work. Um, this might be a really stupid question, so I'm sorry if the answer is obvious or if it's something I shouldn't be asking at all. Please, just tell me to shut up. Hmm. What is it? Well, what is it? Ah. Uh. It is a sensitive question <laughs> and hard to answer. People have different answers. Some people are just proud, I guess, to do it. Like, some people are just happy. Some are just under cir circumstances. And other is like, doesn't have problem by itself. But at the same time, just, you know, also get pushed like feel like they're pressured so much even though they don't really care like the job is just pressuring mm -hmm. why do you work for them when your treatments are terrible there must be some other sort of job you can do while you're here that isn't quite so well soul destroying uh, i don't know about that i'm hardly gonna spend my incarceration wasting away in some sorry excuse for an office that's enough to drive anyone insane yeah true it's like this i have some semblance of freedom Yep. True. Yeah, there's a lot of factors why people choose that kind of jobs. And even then, there's a lot of factors why people choose, like, normal quotation mark jobs. So, yeah. But still, it's not right that people treat you like a tool to, to use just to fulfill their fantasies. I don't think that's my problem. I think that's other people's problem in their judgment, you know? It's awfully kind of you to be concerned, but I assure you, I can look after myself. Happy for you. Earn enough to stop me from starving, but it's better than whatever else is on the table. And besides, I met you, so it can't be all bad, now can it? Hundred percent. Mm. 
Even though your cheeks begins to burn again, again at his word. And so you shuffle up in the sofa as he, too, sips a glass of his coffee. In truth, I only offered them my services because I thought I might stand a better chance at meeting someone special doing this sort of thing. Yeah, that's also part of it, I guess, but like, <laughs> not see, all the time. Limbo's zero tolerance for workplace romance makes things laborious for me. With deadly desires, mm -hmm. I can live life here in a loophole. Day after day, I remind myself I'm still alive. My clients can try to tear down the walls, but I'm the king of my own castle, you know? I may be stuck on... That's so true. But at least I'm standing. Is it really worth it, though? To me, it sounds like working this there does you more harm than good. <sighs> yeah, sometimes. You know how it is. Some workplace harms you more than do you good. Sure, my hours are filled with sin. And so what? It's an acceptable <sighs> means of survival. I refuse to become like others of my kind. Abandoned, left scratching at their scales like lost little junkies. Wait, are we still caring about sins? Okay. I mean, I guess you could be still caring about sins, but... Huh. Iris, I... Since you're so interested in Sithis... I'll let you in on a secret. <gasps> a secret! You won't find in media reports or library books. Yes. Honestly, Arius, you don't have to if it's a sensitive subject. I should clarify for the purpose of the following explanation. In case you're unaware, to the Sithis, when we reference our hearts, we are speaking of something inside us, more akin to what humans refer to as souls. Uh huh. Right. Each and every one of us is born with a hole in our hearts. It is our curse to carry for offending our old gods long forgotten. It's this affliction that causes our insatiable hunger. Are we going to kill God? Are we going to kill God in this game? Let's go. Some of the more scientifically inclined members of our species have spent eons attempting to discover a cure, but to no avail. Mm-hmm. We are demonized in all societies, cruelly labeled leeches, vampires, and snakes. But the truth is, we are simply incomplete. That is why we suffer. Hug Aries. Offer Aries smart. I don't know, hug hugging feels like a little bit too in intrusive. You know, like some hugging- do, do you ask first before hugging? That would be much more interesting. Mm. Playing as so where it's cold and possibly convey your empathy for Aries, you'd like to embrace him instead. Hopping a hug might somehow suit his pain. What are you doing? A part of you wonders if you should return in case you have accidentally upset him, but your instinct drives you to hold him even tighter, squeezing a soft sigh of satisfaction from Aries' lips. I'm supposed to be here for you, not the other way around. Well, you gotta uh, you gotta pay me then. You want me to stop? You speak softly. Your voice muffled by your head pressed firmly into his chest. Huh? No. <sighs> Returning your embrace. Er I'm sorry. Eris wraps his arm around you, ensnaring you in a vice like creep, bringing his head in your head, breathing you in. Okay. You, you smell so good. I could almost eat you. But you deserve so much better than that little human. Thank you. This, this hug is getting a little bit awkward. <laughs> the nurse longing in come in and nurse you. Not enough for you to blurt out the words rushing through your mind, but enough to cause you to pull away in panic. <laughs> Please, don't let go. Your voice is on the left, that's terrifying. <laughs> Only to find yourself frozen in grass, growing tighter by a second. As I turn the crushes creaking on your bones, something doesn't feel right. The sensation is so strange that you like the words to describe it, but it seems as though parts of you are being pulled, not, no, torn from you. Eris, you're hurting me. Frightened for your life as your body bends in Eris' clutch, you cry out, hoping to reach him. 
The moment the word hit him, Eris' eyes go wide in a mixture of shock and horror, causing him to receive with urgency, stepping back from some distance as though as to, to prove his innocence. Wow, Eris, thank you so much, me with the mangled arms and legs. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. It's okay, I'm not injured or anything, so please try not to- Oh, uh, okay. No! It's not okay! How could it possibly be okay? After everything you've done for me, and this? This is how I- No, 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 Ares, it's okay. It's literally okay. Why, why are you- Why are you panicking about this? No, I'm panicking as well. It's okay, it's fine. I'll say it's all right, Eris. I know you didn't mean any harm, and look, I'm fine. See, yeah, uh, people make mistakes, okay? And I don't get hurt, and nobody got hurt. At least, uh, maybe I get hurt a little, but like uh, the point is, it's not something that we cannot fix together. You see? <sighs> Removing to remove his kiss from the ground, Eris mumbled himself incoherently while he stand there, troubled by the intensity of his outburst. How could you, to her, of all people? What is wrong with you? Where is your self-control? You almost ruined everything. Aris, uh, Aris, look at me. Aris, I can understand what you're saying, but I promise you, everything is okay, so please, will you just talk to me? You're never gonna want to see me again after this, are you? It's fine. What? I... Before you answer... I'd appreciate it if you could spare me any half-hearted excuses. I'm only interested in the truth. I don't, I don't care, silly. Well, the truth is, I don't care, silly. Which is exactly what I've been trying to tell you. But how? How could you stand to be around me? You haven't done anything wrong. Look, you made one enemy step, it's all. I'm not going to hold it against you, so you shouldn't beat yourself about it either. Huh? We had a nice enough time together, haven't we? Why would I throw it all the way over something as insignificant as that? You... You're too kind for your own good. Uh huh. Before... Are you serious? Before I can offer any response, this very sound didn't use broken by an insistent ring. The ringing is really annoying. I wish, like, it will stop after a bit. <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's me. I can't believe it's that time already. Oh. Rushing for his phone in a panic, contrast to seeing his professor demanded composure. Ares declines a call. Declines? When you realize it's just past midnight, you can scarcely believe your entire evening with Eris is already about to end. A small part of you hopes perhaps you might be able to stay a little longer. Was it anyone important? Not really. Just my next client. I'll call back when I'm outside. But won't they be mad if you ignore them? Perhaps. But it's a price I'm willing to pay. If it means spending a few more minutes with you. Stop, stop trying to raise me up. A soft smile spread across your face as you begin to blush a little at his coronary mark. Well, it's been a pleasure to have your company, Arius. Likewise. Likewise. It's tragic that I don't want to leave. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, I've enjoyed our time together immensely. Seeing you has made every awful appointment I've ever endured worth it. Thank you. I... I don't know about that. I mean it. I'm sure how to take such a grand call when you shall awkwardly on the spot. You'll ask for me again tomorrow, won't you? Maybe. Of course. You will are not surprised to hear him request such a thing when you had been half wondering is if his high opinion of you had been an act this entire time. Good. That's good. Oh, but don't call for me by name, okay? I know it sounds silly, but it's important. For some reason, I get a higher fee if I'm sent out on surprise package orders. Lol. If you just request another surprise, I'll make sure they send me. Okay. R right, will do. <laughs> then I'll look forward to it. The pair of you stand awkwardly in silence for a moment. There is hesitant to walk away and you're reluctant to let him go. Well, I suppose I better be off before I get an earful. I'll see you again sometime tomorrow, little human. Bye-bye!
There goes my wage! Osiris walks over to Are you watching? Wondering if he'll be okay. But uh, wait! Huh? And so you're in after him, wrapping your arms around him in a brief hug, attempting to convey your concern. Hmm. Whatever did I do to deserve someone as wonderful as you? Hmm? With a somber smile on his lip, Eris strokes your hair, his pointed nails shooting tiny jolts of joy through your body as they light dance around your scalp. When a pair of you retreat from one another, you realize it's not only you that's blushing. Sweet dreams, Lonnie. Believe me, I'll be counting down each second until I see you again. Bye bye! And with that, Eris turned on his heel, disappearing into the neon soaked streets. <sighs> so I think to yourself as you retreat back into the safety of your apartment, you begin to replay all your of your memories of your time with Eris in your mind. A smile forms on your face as you recall his elation at your last minute embrace. Something about him seems so different from any other deadly desires performer you've had the pleasure of spending a while with. Rami is amazing and ever fails to make you laugh with his inflated tales of his conquest and the trials of tribulation of living as an incubus in limbo. What? Why do we never see Romeo at all? But he always felt as though as he maintained a form of professional distance with you, unlike Arya, separate and guarded. When in the company of others from the organization, you could tell that they were playing a part, even if their manners were still pleasant. Eris seems more authentic somehow, if a little jaded. Part of you want to stay up all night dwelling on your day, but you feel the pull on your bed beckoning you to pass your time without Eris in the realm of dreams. Crawling under the covers, you close your eyes, hoping to relieve, relieve as much as possible of your encounters with Eris by falling fast, falling fast asleep. And next day, this is where we end our video for now. This, ooh, 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 sound effects. Nice. But yeah, okay, so far I've been enjoying it. This is actually a little bit interesting. Uh, it's, it, okay. Uh, my experience right now, it, it all feels rather to face front. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just feels like. It feel like a giant screen being put on your face the whole game almost all the time. That's how I feel about it at least. Maybe because of the perspective and the UI sometimes and uh, I don't know some other stuff. But other than that, like the story is cool. I love it. The concept of like the world building of we are in a place like this and we are just like oh, okay, I'm gonna hire escorts. Then it's it's fun. It's fun. Uh. I kind of concerned about like uh, you know uh, escort perspective after this. It's like a little bit positive, but also mm, kind of mm, you know. I hope it it doesn't go to like positive where people become like to you know like they're, they're, it creates people who were who were like just oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna going to escort and hope for romantic advancement like dude. But other than that, it's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, yeah, that's all for Deadly Desires Part One. I guess this this could be Part One. Is it? What's yeah? Deadly Desires Love Star Part One. See you later then in the next part. Bye bye. All right. So here's the thing. I'm actually correct about my estimation of the three hours video, which of course I should have account. So. You know, I record the first part for one hour, the second part for two hours, and that will be kind of awkward in editing and be too long for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some bit of what's supposed to be part two to part one. So yeah, the video is not going to end immediately right now, but instead it will continue with a little bit of preview for the next part, I guess. Not preview, like, kind of continuous in the next part. I'm so sorry about this, I should have, like, trust my instinct. But I don't, because that's because I'm silly. Anyway, yes, uh, continue enjoying watching. Sorry. Upon awakening the next day, you immediately brew your usual beverage of choice and flick on the radio to catch up on any news you might have missed. Reports suggest this latest disappearance Ooh. occurred when the performer was en route to an appointment. Yeah? Lydia Greavestock, long-term partner of the seemingly vanished Red Paul, known famously for their enthusiasm and endurance as an escort, raised the alarm when they failed to make their usual check-in with her upon arriving at their scheduled destination. Spicy. 
Ms. Greavestog says she knows with certainty that her partner never made it to their appointment, claiming that the tracking device she installed on Red Paul's phone shows they went missing somewhere in the Setonian slums. Tracking device? What do you mean tracking device? A dangerous district on the border of the sector, designated as a no-go zone by administrators. Uh huh. Ms. Greifstock admits that Red Pole's activity in the area wasn't unusual, as they frequented the Red Zone to stock up on supplies for work. And the supply is. The question remains: Is Red Pole's disappearance an unhappy coincidence, considering the high crime rate ascribed to the area? Or. Or could it be yet another case connected to the string of vanishing deadly desires? Yes, deadly desires. Did I did I mention that perfectly back then? I don't know. We'll have more on that in our other top stories shortly. But first, have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes at Administrator HQ? Ooh, spicy! If so, stay tuned for our revealing interview with Administrator Akiros right after this quick break. Woo! Oh, uh, sorry, I'm adjusting stuff in the background. Uh, those stuff are falling. You didn't know about that. You thought it's slow if everything at first began, you softly switch off the radio. It seems like these incidents are getting closer and closer to home. <sighs> you mumbled yourself, mulling over the latest headlines, somewhat concerned but still larger than faces as you pick up the phone to call Deadly Desires. Uh huh. Well, this is awkward. This is very, very awkward. In the full game, this path is where the main story continues. This demo can in seven endings, feel free to explore the path to unlock them if you haven't done so already. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's a nice thing. Uh, okay, wait, this is less awkward now. This is not technically an ending, so it doesn't count towards the seven total demo endings. This demo was created for Otome Jam 2024, contains around 70k words of the approximately 55k words in the full story script. So, there are many more endings to discover in the full game. The, uh, huh, the whole game will include... More choices, endings, CGs, woo! Additional original music crashed on top of the existing OST in the demo. And option to pick a masculine or feminine version. Let's go! Finally, about Aris and Lonnie. LPB, I hope to release the full version of the game sometime in late 2024, possibly spilling into 2025. Depending on what life throws at us, woo! When life gives you demons, you. Call the exorcist, I think, and not make lemonade out of it. Unless you can make a demonade. Hmm. In the meantime, we hope you enjoyed playing demo for Deadly Desires Love Starved. With any luck, we'll see you again once the full game is out. Hmm. If you can wait it long, feel free to check out some of our other games. Love. Such as Limbo Line, which is set in the same universe. Hint. Hint. Thanks for playing. Yeah. What do you mean I haven't unlocked any of the endings? Deadly Desires, Love Star. Credit scene, is this a credit scene? Am I being silly? Nope, it is not. Oh. That is interesting and looks horrifying. What, what, what are you doing there? Oh, I can see the body, maybe. What do we have? Memories. Only one out of many? Are you serious? Okay, we just have to wait for the load to end. Which will probably take a while considering. Yeah. Oh, oh finally! Oh. Project Salvation. Nika time. Oh, Nico is the news person, I think. Huh. Huh. Interesting. So, okay, let's be horny in this episode. Let's go. Greetings, operator. Hmm, guess I'm. Let's go with this choice. Confirmed. 
Mr. Royce. Eh, nothing different. It's just voice, but it's cool. What do you mean we cannot skip this? Ah, okay, so now we are back at our first choice. Introduce yourself. Who? Wh which one do we pick back then? Ah, okay, this is different. Okay, this is uh, this is uh, we haven't picked the first one apparently. I'm sorry, but I'm going to need your name before I proceed. Someone's a little on edge, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Does my name even matter? Business is business. But if you really want to know, it's Lemos Erisaiten. Don't worry, you can just call me Eris. Everyone else does. Ippy. Uh huh. Sorry, it's just well, I can never be too careful, you know. I don't like the idea of letting strangers into my home. So I appreciate you telling me. I'm Lonnie, by the way. Huh. And you think knowing someone's name makes them more than strangers? Yes. Why not? Humans sure are something. Anyway, it's not a problem, so your thanks are quite unnecessary. I'm happy to do whatever you require to help you feel safe. Thank you! So, are you planning to invite me in? Or would you rather we conduct our con- I don't mind either way. Mm -hmm. But I okay, this one. skills disagree with the acidity of the rain. <laughs> the vibe- <laughs> I love the effect just like zooming in. The vibe air skips off put you on edge. Maybe you're just overthinking things, but something about him makes it an air of desperation. In your experience, it's always better to be safe than sorry. You're probably going to think I'm crazy, but will it be alright if you just left? I'm not really feeling up to it anymore. You want me to go? You do realize you already paid for my time, right? Yeah, I, I do. A refund for changing your mind. No, that, that, that's not a problem. I know that, it's fine. Could you please just leave though? I'll still give you a good rating if that means anything. What's the matter? Do I make you... uncomfortable? No, you're- ooh, I can see your deck now. No, not at all, I just- <laughs> Liar. Oh! <gasps> oh! Okay! Honestly, it's not you, it's- <laughs> Please, I can smell it on you. So don't even try to deny it. Excuse I'm me, so I take a shower. But I'm not going anywhere until I get what I came for. Wait, what, 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 what do you came for here? I'm scared. Huh? If this is about the money I already paid, you wouldn't be here if the transition hadn't gone through, so don't you dare try to squeeze even more out of me. I'm not a fool. Hmm. I'll squeeze as much out of you as I want. Every last drop if I feel like it. And there's not a single thing you can do to stop me. C can we lock the door? <gasps> This way, his smile, Aries' words, force a threat and grasp from your lips. Lips. Huh. I'm sorry it had to end like this. It's a shame, really. We could have had something special. So true. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Lock the door! I'd hoped you might be different, but you're not. We have multiple red flags. What do you mean you don't want to lock the door? You know? Uh huh. <laughs> Look at it. Huh? I didn't do that. Look at it. That's nice. That I sure don't scroll too fast. Be well done by a statement you sent for us and the drizzle outside, becoming the lodge. And I see one coop. Cute. Aris lunch right at you, simply scooping you up in his arm before practically crushing you in his embrace. A brief utterance of agony is all you can offer when your spine snap almost in half. <laughs> What is that sound? Oh, okay, perhaps he could have survived such an attack had it not been for Eris' lips latching into yours. <sighs> His kiss is impassionate yet thing with deadly purpose. I'm no uh, why? Eris literally can do the fight back, and you and so you are forced to simply stare into the eyes of the one slowly sucking out your soul. And of bring a fading away entirely, a brief thought crosses your mind. He seems so sad. Somehow you can. Oh, 
Somehow you can tell I risk their eyes and a pleasure from the act of devouring your essence. This transaction is purely predatory, a matter of survival. He knows it wouldn't sustain him for long, but for now just for a moment his hunger is satiated. The pain you feel for him is born from somewhere deep inside yourself. One brief flicker of connection. In the empty space you occupy before you are being erased from existence, you find yourself wishing he had seen the real you. Instead, you are blind to each other true. In the side, there are plenty more out there like you. Bland, flavorless sheep. Stumbling blindly to slaughter. You provide little more to his palate than consuming crumbs, but you'll suffice as a meager snack. I'm truly sorry about that little human. I'm mm -hmm, sure. Better. But you were never gonna find that with me. You could have just left me alone here. Finish with feasting on everything that made you, you. Iris pushes you outside, walking without even as much glance back in your direction. Leaving you stuck, hollow and alone once more. His son will continue, but your journey is over. For as long as you remain in limbo, you will never know love. That is sad, haha. <laughs> Hello, administrator. Outcome two, quick snack. Welcome back, operator. Please be patient while the system analyzes your outcome. Wait, what is it? Outcome two? Is there is there any other way to gain out an another outcome? I'm interested. We'll see. Connecting to your assigned administrator. Mm hmm Hello. This conclusion is suboptimal as far as your selected soul is concerned. Unless, of course, you assume this to be an unmerciful end? M maybe It is not my role to berate your choices. Merely monitor them. However, it would be preferable that you seek an alternative form of salvation for your subject. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you. Now, I must ask. Do you approve of this outcome? Uh, no. What what will happen if I say yes? Objection has been noted. Congratulations on uncovering a new outcome, operator. Wait, wh wh what does that do? If required, please take a break and proceed with your work when ready. Woo! Yippee! Am I recording? Sometimes you need to take note of that, like. Sometimes you just forgot, you know. I don't get it. What, what's the difference? Huh. Fascinating. Can you sh can you show me something because I want to continue? Oh, spicy. Interesting. I love that. Uh, maybe it's a combination of introducing myself, right? Hmm. Lonnie, huh? Pretty. So, are you planning to invite me in? Or would and then we ask Aris to leave. Luckily for you, see you around. It is! Luckily for you, I have another client who... Uh, we skip that. Save your breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? I know when I'm not wanted. It's a different Luckily, thing. Interesting. I have another client who I'm sure will be thrilled to see me a little sooner. So, no hard feelings. Yep, no hard feelings. See you around. And just like that, he watches the entity switches his mane of hair, spinning on the spot to waltz off in the limbo screen glow. Oh, so we are if we are being an asshole, then we will get an asshole treatment. Alright. A slight sickening feeling in your stomach tells you that you've had a lucky escape before subsiding. Replace once more with apathy. Very interesting. Outcome 1, a life but empty. Welcome back, operator. 
Please be patient while the system analyzes your outcome. Woohoo! Waiting. Ba -bum -ba -bum. Your assigned administrator. Yes. A most sensible conclusion. Although we must ask ourselves if this particular soul salvation lies in safety. Uh huh. I don't understand what you mean. I suggest you seek other paths open to you, operator. Exploration is within the spirit of this exercise, after all. Is that true? Perhaps this individual might find shelter nestled in the arms of danger. Ooh, interesting. Now, I must ask, do you approve of this outcome? I don't even know what... Yes? Your input has been noted. What, what does it do? Congratulations do? on uncovering a new outcome, operator. Please take a break if required and proceed with your work when ready. Uh, okay. Probably my complaint about the game right now is that the transition is taking very long between stages. Like for, for a visual novel. At least in my opinion, since... I don't know, I, I usually only play Tyranno Engine and Renpai visual novel, so it's kind of long for me. Interesting. And that's where I will end the video. Because, like, you know, it's it's been quite a while. I was just taking a little bit of part two. I'm sorry about that once again. But, yeah, as you can see, it's this game is pretty long. <laughs> so, yeah, but I but, but I do enjoy it. It's 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 fun in its own way. Just a little bit frustrating with the skip, which I will address in the part two with all my ranting at the end of the video later on in part two. Either way, yes, that's all for now. See you later in the next video, in the next part or my next video. Bye-bye.